In this video, I'm going to show you how to compile and run a C++ program using the Pulsar text editor. Okay, so I have a simple C++ program open. It's a simple hello world program that says, hello world, my name is Tim. You'll see this variable Tim, and here's the variable here. Uh, so very basic program, and I can right click on the file here and go down and click Compile and Run. And I have this little pop-up that shows up here that says, Hello world, my name is Tim. What I can also do is press the F5 key. That's the F5 key, I can't talk apparently. And the same thing happens. So that's the shortcut for it, the keyboard shortcut. So how did I achieve this? Well, I've got a couple things to talk about. So the first thing is you need to have G++ installed so the way I do that on my machine is I would type, and let me make this a little bit larger for you. Let's go here to settings and get the font size a bit larger. Okay, so what I would type here in my terminal, and I'm running a Chromebook, by the way, with Linux, Debian, Linux installed. And so what I can do is sudo apt install gcc gpp and then a dash Y flag so I don't have to answer the question to take extra space. Now I already have this installed. So that's the first thing. I need the G++ compiler. I also need to have Xterm installed because the Xterm pops up. So to install that, I can just type sudo apt, sudo apt install Xterm, okay? And run that command. So once I have those installed, then I want to install a package in Pulsar. So to do that, I'll bring up the settings, so control comma, and I'll go to install, and I've installed it already, but you want to start to type GPP, and you'll see this GPP compiler come up. You'll click install. You can see I've installed this already. Once you do that and you have those two other things installed, you can simply run and compile a C++ program in the Pulsar text editor. Hopefully this video helps. If it did, please consider giving it a like and sharing it and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.